Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about Fulmora 13 and a really cool effect that they've added is the ability to add a logo reveal. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So in this example, I've got a soccer video from Euro 2020 and I'm gonna add a logo for the upcoming Euro 2024 tournament. And so to do that, I'm gonna to go to the influence kit and there's an option here for brand transmission logo reveal. If I hit on start creating, it'll give me a, a bunch of different options I can choose from as to how I want my logo to appear. So there's nine different options on here that I can select. There's fly in, there's a circle, circle effect here. We've got a retro split. The one I like the most is this light swipe, which comes in nice and smooth. And then the text comes in from below. So once I've selected um, the logo reveal type that I want to use, I can go over and click on edit. And now I can have the option to add the logo that I want to use. So I'm going to click on add. And so I've got my Euro 2024 logo here. Double click on that. And now we've got that, that, lo that logo using that effect. Now, if you don't want to have text, you don't have to, you can just delete this. In which case now you've just got a regular flying effect with that logo display. But of course we can also add text, say Euro 2024, whatever the case may be, that the title that you wanna use. Then we hit the play button. You can see now we've got the logo and that text effect coming in from below. So once that's all good, we hit the finish button and it gets added to our video. So it's it's no different than any other um, video effect that you can create in Filmora 13, but these are just sort of predefined um, effects that you can easily apply your your logo to so you don't have to fumble around and create these effects yourself that are already set up for you in Filmora 13. So now if I go to the beginning of my video and hit the play button, I've got that logo reveal effect at the start and then it goes into my video. Now, obviously because this is just uh, a video clip as well, you know, I can add this to the start of my video if I wanted to. So I don't necessarily have to put it at the very beginning, I can have my video already playing and then the logo reveal effect comes into play. So we've got the video playing initially and then we've got our logo popping in. So in some cases you may wanna create that effect where you dive right into the video and then add your logo reveal afterwards, in which case it might be a bit smoother as opposed to having the logo reveal on just a, a plain uh, black background. And on the flip side, you can also add this. So if we copy this over, you know, we could also add it towards the end of our video. So when we're done, you know, we can add it here so that towards the end, you know, we do the same thing where we're playing the video, it's about over. And then we add it again. So you can add it as part of your introduction and as how, and as part of your, your, as part of the ending of your video as well. So there's multiple ways you can apply it. And the really cool thing is it's, they've got a lot of really cool options that you can add that are preset in Filmora 13 to make it really easy to add a professional look to your, to your logos that uh, you can add to your videos. And, you know, because it's a similar video layer, uh, a similar video effect that you can apply, you can do it at the beginning, middle or end of your videos or all the above. So a really cool feature in Filmora 13 that you will want to check out. It's in the influence kit. And if you go to start creating, brand transmission logo reveal is where you'll want to go to set that up. 